Hello there, anybody, everybody, but probably nobody. This is Thor W bringing you another episode of Let's Play Dark Souls. Now, when we last left off, we had just gone through Sen's Fortress. No, I'm sorry, the Duke's Archives. God, I'm dumb. Hold on a sec, I gotta make sure my capture is going. Okay, good, we're good. <clears throat> just wanted to double check that. We went through the Duke's Archives, not Sen's Fortress. I just think that because Seath and Sen, you know, basically the same guy, right? Right. <clears throat> So we went through the Duke's archives, and uh, we eventually went through the Crystal Caves and killed Seath the Scaleless. We even uh, went so far as to cut off his tail for the Moonlight Greatsword, which is super annoying against Seath. We died a couple times doing it, because, you know, uh, it's so easy to get to his tail. <clears throat> and uh, we, we met a couple of NPCs in the meantime. Um, before... Uh, now I'm going to go on a, a slight rant here before I go around anywhere. I'm sure some of you are wondering why we're here, and I'll talk about that in a sec. But uh, over the time of my last recording and this recording, Comcast was so kind as to uh, destroy my internet signal for uh, a good four days, and I was completely, almost completely without internet at least. It was very nearly nothing, constantly disconnecting and whatnot, so it also became almost impossible to upload episodes to YouTube, because I tried doing it, and then the signal would cut. And it was wonderful! How nice! <clears throat> like, it was, it was, uh, I was lucky enough to be able to just watch a video on YouTube, let alone being able to freaking upload one. Yes, camera, look at the eggs. So, um... That was a wonderful time. I had to call in a guy, and then he had to call in a guy, and then they had the stuff looked at, and I think it's better now, and I should be able to, to you know, put more episodes up. But kind of killed my motivation for a short period of time, so, ooh, that sucked. Anyway, uh, for those of you who are astute and looked in the bottom right corner of the screen, you will notice I have 500,000 souls. You'll... Anyone else who may notice would notice that this is a Pyromancy Flame plus 15 now, instead of plus 12. Uh, and if I go into here, Uchigatana plus 12, and uh, Quelog's Fury Sword plus 5. Oh, how nice. In fact, I'm going to equip that. Why not? I want the Fury Sword for a little bit. Yeah. Any hoozles. <clears throat> I did a little bit of off-screen farming, because, you know, not a whole lot of internet work. What was I going to do? And, uh, I got a bunch of souls and whatnot. We're gonna go, uh, cash those in. Starting with down here. Back down to Blight Town. We're gonna go down to, uh... The Godmother of Pyromancy. But first we gotta kill this guy, cause... We'll probably aggro. Alright, so I'm gonna use Quelog's Fury Sword for just a, a, a couple moments. And now let's talk to her. Ah, it has been some time, truth be told. I thought you had perished. Alright, so we can go here to modify equipment. Uh, wait, what? Oh, was it only from a plus ten? Am I dumb? I might be dumb. I think I might be dumb. Or is that the Ascended Pyromancy Flame? Oh, I don't even know, man. I actually don't even know. Jeez Louise. Uh, well, at the very least, I'm going to go ahead and purchase Firestorm from her. Um, great Fireball from her. Another Fire Orb, because why not? Because I can. I got it like that. I got monies to work with. And let's Richard talk. Isolith, please, do not speak of her. I abandoned my mother and sisters and fled to this land. Now I roam these parts, feigning ablution and pretending to seek answers. Pyromancy is the art of invoking and manipulating fire. But remember one thing. Always fear the flame. Lest you be devoured by it and lose yourself. I would hate to see that happen again. Pyromancy is the art of... Alright, so that's, that's all the dialogue she had. But, you notice she talked about the Witch of Isolith. And saying that she abandoned her mother and her sisters, uh, because she is a, a daughter of the Witch of Isolith, one of the Chaos Sisters, and she escaped from uh, becoming a horrible spider demon or what have you, 
what may have happened to her, and this is now where she resides because of it. <clears throat> now, I should have done my homework uh, before I doing this, and saw if this modify equipment for this was the proper thing or not. I think it is. I'm almost positive it is. Pyromancy Flame plus 15 to Pyromancy Flame. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna make a quick cut. Be right back. No luck. Okay, guys, I was right. Yeah, yeah. I completely forgot it maintains the name Pyromancy Flame for some reason. It it doesn't make any sense. But if now we go, go ahead and look at it, do, do not crack and go hollow. If we take a look Is at it, time spent on you, you shut up. If we take a look at it, now our Pyromancy Flame looks really, really cool, really awesome. I think it, yeah. Going upon the latent power of Quelana Vizalith, Mother of Pyromancy. For the Pyromancer, the flame is a precious thing indeed, to be nurtured often for an entire lifetime. When the flame is shared, it creates an internal bond between the parties. Yeah, so same description, same name, same everything, but it has more power. And we're actually going to go ahead and modify it and max it out, because I got plenty of souls to work with, that's why I went and got a, bit, a, a few hundred thousand in souls, so that we could max that out we could uh, purchase these items and all that stuff. Hold on, I think I might now need to go. make another cut. Whatever you do, Hold on. Do not the phone is up. ringing! Alright, welcome back, guys. My phone was ringing. I have people to talk to. I'm sorry for that. Um, you know, uh, we're off to a wonderful start to this episode. I've already had to make two cuts. Uh, do you have ah, anything else uh, to say if I talk to you after getting that? Pyromancy is the nope. art of invoking. Shut up. Later, nerd. Okay, so I'm just gonna run over to this bonfire that's right over here, and I'm gonna teleport. I don't think Shiva of the East is here anymore. If I double check, I just want I just want to see Shiva. You here? Nope, he has disappeared. Um, I'll, I'll double check where he is. Uh in between some episodes and stuff. In the meantime, I do have direction and purpose with my life. I know where I'm going to go. So let's go ahead and warp to... Um, where exactly is it I'm warping to? Undead Parish, I think, yeah. Oh, um, also, with all the, these extra souls that I'm sitting upon, let's go ahead and level up a little bit. By a little bit, I mean a lot. How many levels can I get? Like, what is that? 10? 11? I can put 11 levels into myself, so that's good. I'm gonna put a, a fair amount of those in. Alright, so we're gonna max out our decks. And... Some more endurance, I suppose? Yeah, more endurance, why not? Confirmed! Uh, and if I check a tune magic, uh, fire orb and great chaos fireball. I could go for a great fireball. Great fireball after the spell, but late fire magic. Um, I could also go for a firestorm, which isn't too bad. It's really good for if you can just run up to stuff and cast it. Otherwise, it's not the greatest in the world. Uh, we'll put a great fireball in. Why not? And the great chaos fireball takes two, which is why I've only got the two spells, but whatever, it's fine. And we're gonna run down... Do I want to go to it this way? Through the Dark Root Basin? Or... Yeah. Well, that's... It is kind of the only way to go through it. Anyway, so... yeah. Unless I come up through the Valley of Drakes, which would be the other way. Uh, in the meantime, let's swap this out. Or... Oh, uh, we'll take the Gold Serpent Ring. Why not? Oops. Don't walk into the don't walk into the wall, make a turn. Bye bush monster. Bye bush monster. Okay, so something I want to go ahead and go on a short rant about, a short rave about, is the um is a little bit of the upgrade system in Dark Souls. Um and that's because I had to upgrade a few weapons. And by a few I mean a lot. I I'm upgrading tons of weapons and I missed my turn already. It's uh, right back here. There's another bush monster chasing me, but I don't care. I'm going to pick this up in the meantime. Um, anyway, some of the upgrades uh, are kind of odd. Um, and the one thing that I really, really, really want to 
bitch about right now is the upgrade materials. You get to buy as many uh, Titanite shards as you want, as many large Titanite shards as you want. I think you can buy chunks later from like Hawkeye Go. I'm not a hundred percent sure about that. Um, we'll find out once I reach him, which won't be too terribly long from this point forward. Um, but I'm pretty sure that for shards and uh, shards and chunks, you can get pretty much as many as you want in the game. I know for a fact you can farm chunks off of enemies, so there's an infinite amount of those. But let's jump into uh, a couple of the other resources, like say Twinkling Titanite, which you have a very which you have a finite amount. Now this is used to upgrade certain weapons, um, very specific weapons in the game, which are normally unupgradable. I think stuff like the the Black Knight Great Sword, stuff like that, uses Twinkling Titanite to be upgraded. Now that's an okay concept to have finite resources, but at the same time, what if you want to upgrade all this crap? But if you have a bunch of stuff you want to upgrade and play around with and figure out what's best, well, the thing is, you're going to have to go to a New Game Plus in order to do that, because there's no way to farm a lot of these upgradable upgrade materials. There's just a ton of stuff that you cannot um, actually get, which really, really sucks. Especially when you go into the main uh, final tier upgrade item, which is... The large Titanite slab, which I think you get, you can get three or five. It's either three or five in the entire game, in the entire game, and you need that to get the final, the final level upgrade for almost every, every normal upgrade in the game, every lightning upgrade in the game, everything like that. You need a fucking slab for, and there's only three or five in the game, and I'm stupid for not knowing which one it is. Now, before we walk into this portal, I want to look at an item, damn it! It's somewhere down here. It's a key item, isn't it? I'm being dumb. Oh, it's the broken pendant. Okay, so this broken stone pendant we got off of by the big blue crystal golem in the uh, the Duke's archives, I was just kind of hanging out inside the place looking at a, uh, a sundial for some reason that was inside. It made no sense. So, let's look at it. Half of a broken stone pendant. The vine appears to originate from Ulysseel. A powerful magic can be sensed from this ancient stone, yet men of this time can neither manipulate nor sense its power, which has a distinct air consisting of both reverence and nostalgia. Now this broken pendant is what's going to allow us to actually visit Ula Seal, and I never even picked up this uh, set back here because I'm dumb. Anyway, yeah, there's the uh, the dusk set. Anyway, that broken pendant was a pendant which I believe belonged to Manus, considering this portal to Ula Seal only opens after you get it, and Manus only cares about ripping your ass back in time like this after you have it. So yes, Manus decides to just throw his fist way out through the time-space continuum, grab you, and then rip your ass into, not not into his territory, which is like the edge of the abyss, but instead into this uh, sanctuary garden for some reason. I don't understand why it takes you here instead of there. Uh, it kind of makes no sense, like at all. And I think I need to switch this out to the Uchigatana. The Lightning Uchigatana for this fight. Because Quaylock's Fury Sword is, as a base, much weaker of a weapon. Sub Sanctuary Guardian, I'm gonna die to you and it's gonna be embarrassing. Stop that. Alright, let's. let's nope, the two hit. Two. Wow, why aren't you doing the big combo? So this is like a Final Fantasy boss in almost every possible way. I mean, look at it. It's got these big wings, it's got that scorpion tail. You can actually cut its tail off, which is not simple to do. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna throw fire at you. Oh, fuck, that hurt. 
This Great Chaos Fireball is going to wreck his shit. Oh, come on, dude. Really? He recovered fast enough to do that? I'm really surprised he recovered that fast. He should not have recovered nearly that fast. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe Lightning's not the way to go. Yeah, I think Lightning's actually not good against it. We'll just go regular Uchikatana against it. Should do slightly more damage. I know, I know the Quelog's Fury Sword's definitely not the way to go, because its base damage is actually rather low, but it scales with humanity because it's a Chaos weapon. Yep, yep, three, four... You gonna do any more? Sometimes he does more. Whoa! Hey now! Now cutting off this guy's tail is really problematic, so I don't know if I'm actually going to try doing so. Oh, that's the big That's the best opening for it, is when he charges over the ow. Charges through like that. Like that. Oh. Well, I made a mistake by trying to drink that. Yep, this is way better. Regular Uchikatana is going to do way better than the lightning version against the Chimera. It's It's got better lightning resist than I thought it did. Oh, where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? Come on. Oh, that's a leaping strike. Come on, damn it. Charge. Charge me. Charge me! Charge me! I want your tail! Charge me! Come on. I'm waiting for him to charge me. I'm gonna get his tail no matter what. There we go. Come on, get there. Got it! Oh, that shot way faster. Alright, so I'm going to shoot fireballs at it for a little bit. Okay, maybe I shouldn't shoot fireballs at it. It's... It's really f aggressively fast. I say as I shoot another fireball at it. I think one more fireball kills it, so... Oh! Come on. Oh my god, no. Not that. Please, no. Okay, that was worth... Whoa, come on now. Alright, he's busy dicking off over there, so I'm good. Big one. Perfect. Now he dies. So, and there's the guardian soul. Took me two tries because uh, I was stupid the first time, basically. Like 100% because I was stupid, but whatever. Uh, now I have to try and navigate my way around here. Was I from there or was I from there? Oh, jeez. Oh no. Oh jeez, oh no. Is this where I came from or where I go? Oh no. It's so hard to tell it's where I came from. Shit. Yeah, I should've known. Yay, I went the wrong way. I'm, I'm a smart guy. I'm a really smart fella. Um, well, in the meantime, while I, since I, uh, to try and save this moment, let's go ahead and we'll take a look at that weapon that we just got from the Guardian, which is down here somewhere. 
looks down here somewhere. I'll recognize it when I see it. As we enter the Ulysseal Sanctuary. Ah, oh, the Guardian Tail. There we go. Let's take a look at it. Weapon type whip attack type rate. Sliced tail of the Sanctuary Guardian. This flexible, spiked, and highly poisonous tail would make a rather obnoxious weapon. Yes, it is. If you use it in PvP, people get pissed at you. It applies poison damage to them. Uh, its scaling isn't the greatest in the world, but it's not terribly bad. It's really annoying. Let's go ahead and... Um, oh, I should have equipped it. I'll go, go ahead and equip it. I'll show off the moveset, as this is something you might be able to uh, see in PvP. Above two-hand it. Because I can't wield it with one hand, I don't have enough strength for it, but... But, there's a basic swing for it. Here's the R2 of it. It's got, it's got a really long reach. The backstep attack for it. And here's the rolling attack for it. The backstep attack is rather good for it. It's rather quick. Um, it's certainly not the most popular weapon for PvP, but, uh, whips have always been relatively annoying in it. Uh, like, I think I might just go raw Uchikat- regular Uchikatan. Ah, we'll go back to our lightning. I think we're fine with that. Let's go ahead and light our bonfire and take a seat. Refill up our, uh, stuff. Actually, we could level up here, too. Why not? We can do another level. Uh, put endurance to 30, and I think I'll be good for endurance forever. Uh... Or we'll leave it at 29, so that'll annoy people, because it's not at 30. Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll do that instead, because I want to annoy people. Do, how much more attunement do I need for that? I'm going to start putting a little bit in strength. And we'll find out how much attunement I need. If ever I need to level up, I'll level up. In the meantime, let's talk to this mushroom. Well, look at this one. From what faraway age hast thou come? Thy scent is very human indeed, but not intolerable. Ah, Princess Dusk's savior. Thine aura is precisely as she described. I thank thee deeply for rescuing her highness. But Princess Dusk is here no longer, snatched away by that horrifying primeval human. And so I must ask, couldst thou once more play the savior? Yes, I will save Princess Dusk. I am Elizabeth, guardian of this sanctuary. Something of a godmother to Princess Dusk. I shall assist thee to my utmost, for I am one with the sorceries of Auraseal. All right. So she sells repair powders, which will repair whatever you're equipped in your right hand. Gold pine resin, with which we've seen applies lightning to your right hand. Hidden weapon, which is and the repair spell. The hidden weapon spell is very interesting. Ancient sorcery from the lost land of Ulusil turns the right weapon invisible. Not a simple augmentation, making it dependent on the skill of its caster. An example of the capacity of Ulusil sorceries to control light. So Ulusil's very much Ulusil sorceries are very much about the um, projection of deceit and whatnot as opposed to the sorceries of the modern day, the ones that we get from, like, Big Hat Logan and whatnot, which are very much about projecting power into your opponent and shooting them with, with like, energy, basically, and stuff like that. Uh, she also sells an ivory catalyst, a uh, sorcery catalyst of Lost Land of Ulusil, formed by enchanted white bark branches. The white bark boosts sorcery adjustment, but the sorceries of this Lost Land are gentle and not affected by intelligence. So this does not scale very well with your intelligence at all. It scales a little bit by strength for some reason. I don't know why. It's kind of odd. It's not the best catalyst in the world. Uh, certainly uh, better ones out there to be used. But anyway, uh, Hidden Weapon itself, very interesting. Um, if you use it in PvP, it can uh, certainly trip up some newer players, especially. Um and mess with their heads, because they're like, oh no, he's hitting me with something I can't see too well, oh, and stuff like that. Let's talk to her. Thou shalt see further on. An abyss was begat of the ancient beast, and threatens to swallow the whole of Ulysseel. Knight Artorius came to stop this, but such a hero has nary a murmur of dark. Without doubt he will be swallowed by the abyss. 
overcome by its utter blackness. Indeed, the abyss may be unstoppable. Still, I have faith that Princess Dusk may be rescued yet. Thou shalt see an All abyss right, so that's with the of the ancient... So she's talking about Manus, who is basically the outcome of the furtive pygmy from the original cutscene. The one who is the father of basically the father of humanity and the inheritor of the dark soul. I'm going to run around here while I talk about this. Um, anyway, um, Manus kind of went super insane and whatnot, which it, and became some sort of horrifying monster creature because he is basically become... I don't know if it's that he was corrupted by the Abyss. The, what the Abyss actually is is kind of unclear. But what we do know about it is that it has to do with the concept of dark, which is um, less of the absence of light and a more physical, actual, existent thing. Like, um, there is straight-up dark, which is... Rather than, there's no light here, it is dark has invaded. Which is what Gwyn was afraid of the whole time, was the Age of Dark overcoming the Age of Light, or the Age of Fire. And so, not 100% sure whether or not this is because... Alright, there's going to be a, a scene to be triggered. Is it here or later? Well, we'll play it safe. Anyway, I'm not entirely sure whether Manus went insane because he was... Uh, residing in the abyss for a long period of time, or just because, as the inheritor of the main dark soul, he is the dark soul, basically the embodiment of it, uh, as that, he just became this warped form of what humankind may become. Because, as you'll see, in the, uh, the inhabitants of Ulysseal are all corrupted by the abyss. And corrupted by the dark. And because of that, they all become weird monster creatures. Now, here we are in the Royal Wood. The Royal Wood is essentially the, um... It's essentially Dark Root. But in Ulysseal. So it's, you know, Dark Root in the past. Ow, ow. Please. Oh, I've only got six flasks. I probably should have kindled that bonfire back there with some humanity or something. Oh well. Uh, let's go through this area. I'm going to try to get everything in the area. Alright, come here guys. You first. Come here little guy. No! Oh, hey now. Okay. You want to chill dude? Here, have some fire. You don't seem to give much of a damn about my katana or my lightning, so have some fire. Whoa. Going for the double swing. Come on, big swing. There we go. Oh, you're going to pull that out. Yup, that's, that's the move I was thinking of. Oh my god, that was a bad roll. Don't kill me! Alright, good. I should have swung way earlier. Like, that was dumb of me to not swing. And I get a Twinkling Titanite from this guy. Because, you know, the developers realized, wow, we don't put a lot of Twinkling Titanite in our game, do we? No, no, we kind of don't. Let's make these things capable of dropping it. Okay, you there. I see you over there. Come here. Come here. Come here, gardener. So these are basically living trees that are here to uh, guard in the area. It's kind of weird. Uh, these enemies are kind of odd. Kind of odd. Not terribly odd, though. Yeah, that's right. Set the next bridge over. It's the thing I'm thinking of. Let's go up here and grab this item. Guardian Gauntlets. Uh, I believe you can find the whole Guardian set around 
in this area, which is kind of what I'm attempting to do before I move on to the next one. So we'll see if we can grab everything. Hi, thy. Uh, the Guardian set is basically their stuff. All right, we're going to be a little bit careful because both of them are really clumped together here. All right, you're gone. Your turn. No, thank you. Swing again. There we go. Vulnerable. This is not the uh, greatest weapon in the world to be going against these guys. Like a big, fat sway hander or great sword of some sort would be re way more fit for fighting these guys. But it's fine. I've got multiple weapons to switch to. So if this durabil the durability on this starts to go down, oh god, no, that was almost bad. Anyway, if the durability on this starts to go down a little bit low, I'll go ahead and swap weapons out to like the the normal Uchigatana is going to be my immediate backup. Hi guy, and drop? No, no drops. Damn. Anyway, uh, let me go ahead and check my durability on this right now. Uh, 75? Oh yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Oh wow, frame rate. Please. The frame rate just died for a second there. Come here, guys. Let's fight. Let's have a good old brawl. Alright, so I switched to the Great Chaos Fireball because these guys are numerous. And I can do stuff like that. Oh, you got in the way. I was going to hit both of the guys behind you, you jerk. Here, catch. Ooh, I should have rolled sideways there, just in case. A side roll would have been way safer. Come on, swing. Second? Yep. And a third! Oh, switching it up on me, guy. Swing. And now you die. Gonna drop anything for me? Another twinkling. Right. So, uh, in the DLC, they had those guys that can drop Twinkling Titanite to make up for the fact that there was not a whole lot of Twinkling Titanite in the original one. But it's not really the most useful thing in the world, anyway. It doesn't even upgrade a lot of things that are that useful. Uh, like, if these things drop fucking slabs, that would be amazing. Oh god, that that hurt a lot. Please. Please. Gardeners, please. Alright, got those two. You're next. We'll just soften you up with that. Then we'll make you nice and easy. Okay, swing again and Will he do the third? Nope, I wasn't close enough for him to. Oh, there's the big one. The big one! I'm too fast for ya. And again. Oh, I wasn't close enough. However, I should just swing away. He's too slow to swing fast enough. Another twinkling. Uh, this covetous gold serpent ring is doing work. I love how they just ragdoll. It's so silly. I love it. Come here. Yeah! we Roll, bitch! Roll! <laughs> oh, I'm too easily amused by that. Um, what was I about to look at? I'm about to go this way for some, something. Is it over here? Uh, see, I hate these things. I hate these glowing little flower sons of bitches, because they look like items off in the distance. And I'm like, do I go over here for that? No, I don't. It's over there. It's all the way over there instead. Anyhow, by the time that this playthrough ends, guys, I will let you know that I'm going to get very close to max stats on a lot of things. Um, I'm not going to, like, uber-level myself way too early and to make everything just, you know, impossibly easy or anything. That would just be unfun. There's got to be some sort of challenge. However, uh, every so often I'm going to do basically what I did in between episodes this time, 
where I just, you know, I just decide, hey, I want a bunch of levels. Okay, it only takes a normal and a heavy. Hey guy, I got your friend here. These guys are actually really easy to fight. They're very slow and uh, very predictable attack patterns and everything like that. Anyway, we've just about cleared this area out. You are a trap. You run backwards and you're like, oh, and then like all these guys all around the place just come out at once from the sides and above and everywhere. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. You want to play, right? Don't play with fire. You're going to get burned. Oh. They actually have really good weapons for fighting you. Oh, jeez. You, you put everything into your attack. Good try, guy. And they, they dropped the same as the, the bush monsters from uh, Dark Root the Dark Root Forest and Basin. So maybe these are like some sort of ancient versions of those before they become bush monsters. Some sort of more sentient beings. Maybe less sentient beings. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, I wish there was some sort of, like, backstory, better back, better backstory, I should say, on, on these things. And the bush monsters themselves, everything like that. I want to know more. I want to know more. Hi, guy. Come here. Two, three... I want to kill you now, but then this guy would hit me, so we're just going to slow things down. Do I get him too? Aw. I need another one. Swing again. Whoa, now. Come on now. I don't know why it didn't roll there. That was kind of odd. Kind of weird. I think I could have killed him before that animation went off if I s swung again. I'm a little interested. I should have done it. Even if I died, it wouldn't matter that much. I mean, I'd just be able to run right through here. I wouldn't have to deal with uh, half of this place. There's the legs. I, I kind of like how all of the equipment is spread out around this area, rather than all being just on one corpse. I like that a little bit better, and I, I dislike it a little bit, because, you know, it means you really have to go around. And here's our new friend, the Black Dragon Calamit. Hi, guy. Fuck you. Yeah, you wanna, you wanna go? Yeah, that's what I thought. Get out of here, you nerd. So he looked at us with his big red eye, and he's like, ooh, um... I'm Black Dragon Calamite, don't mess with me, I'm a badass. Oh my god. Please. I missed. I missed and I fell a little bit. Uh, crud. Damn it! Damn it! I'm stuck in the Zerg goo, I don't think I can get back up and I missed an item, I believe. Maybe I can get back up, hold on. Yeah, let me over here. Yeah, there we go. I think there's an item over here. Yep, right over there. There's items. Don't don't even try it. Come on, man. I got a really nice shield. All right, there's an item over here to grab. I can't believe I missed the uh Titanite lizard. Oh, I missed the jump. <laughs> okay, I'm missing everything here. That was bad. A real bad. Well, let, let's do the run again. I don't know what happened there. I went to jump, and I stopped running instead. I think maybe I, uh... Maybe my second push did not register on the, uh... The, the button. So, whatever. Alright, so we're just going to run through this area. We've got no more business with these guys. There is, like, literally nothing we have to do with them anymore. So we're just going to ignore them. Their very existence is meaningless to us now. Oh, hey, guy. 
Come on now. Oh god, come on. Please. Please. You do not have to be mad. It is only a game. Whoop! I'm going this way now. They call me the Juke Master! Later, later, nerds! You'll never see me again! They're persistent little buggers, though, so they're, doing, they're gonna chase me up this cliffside. Later, fuckers! Your AI isn't programmed to go past that point. Well, oh well, whatever. I don't want it anyway. I don't want you anyway. Jump over this small hole, run over here, my blood stain should be over here somewhere close by, maybe, yes, right over here in the very middle, because obviously that's where I fell. Alright, you, come here. Okay, then. Your, your fall was faster than my swing. Ah, there's a storm a-coming. There's the helm. There's a nice looking hole down there. I'd love to plunge a sword into that. Yeah. And you can see another item over in the distance over there, so I'm going to head that way as well. Purple moss clump. Thank you. Is there anything over here that I'm forgetting? Well, let me get up on this high vantage point, which isn't even all that good because there's stuff in the way. It's not an item, is it? Damn it! It might be a plant, it might be an item. Man, look at all that Zerg goo. Hi, guy. How you doing? Mm, rough day at work, huh? I feel ya. Okay, so we're gonna grab an Elizabeth mushroom. It's a. An Elizabeth mushroom, I believe, is a very good healing item. You. Let me. Uh, I'll take a looky loo at it into everything in a moment. Just taking a look there. Alright, it should be down towards the bottom here. Right before the souls. Maybe it's higher up than I thought it would be. Well, I am dummy. Greatly stores HP for limited duration. Large medicinal mushroom of Elizabeth, the keeper of the sanctuary. Eating this mushroom invigorates the flesh and greatly restores HP for limited duration. Its dramatic effect can make the difference between a warrior's life and death. So that giant mushroom, Elizabeth, creates more mushrooms, which can help stave off death, which can heal you. So, yeah, that's nice. She makes healing mushrooms. I, I don't know if they're made of her, or if she just grows them out of herself or something. It's weird. It's really weird, considering, you know, it's a mushroom making mushrooms, so now you don't... Now you're getting into semantics that are kind of odd. Eat... Chaos, bitch! Oh, that was fucking awful. God damn it, I'm an idiot. I, f I hit the button and I thought to myself, that was early. That was real early. That was super early. I don't want to cut anything more. Come on, me. Get your head in the game. Stop playing like you... Stop playing like this is Skyrim and play like this is Dark Souls, damn it. <laughs> so I'm kind of not trying to use all of my spells because of a fight that's coming up. A fight that everyone knows about, but I'm not going to talk about until I get there because it's better that way. Because... In case there's, you know, that one person that doesn't know about it. That one guy that's like, I'm new to Dark Souls. Let's watch this guy's playthrough for some reason. You know. Oh, no, please. That was almost really bad. I just got across the bridge and they can never touch me again. I'll show... I'm going to tell the police on you. You touched me in my naughty bits. You touched my butt. You tried to put stuff inside of it. Stupid fucking lizard, get out of here. Finally it fell. Jeez. 
I'm not sure why it didn't fall the second time I came through here. Okay. Alright. Okay, and alright. And all that stuff. Okay, then. We'll just drink to full health. Whatever. Doesn't matter. We're gonna clear this goddamn area this time. Eh. Come here. I wanna kill you. I plan to actually have to run through this area one more time after going through a bonfire to the bonfire to restore Estus and everything and humanity and stuff. Because I want to be at least... I want to be at 10 Estus for the fucking boss fight that I have to do. Because there's a lot of boss fights in a very short period of time here in Ulysil. There's some badasses hanging around. Now this is a very simple strategy you can do, and, which if you're going to do a strategy like that, do two hand, because it'll speed up your killing capabilities, unless you have a nice one-handed dick hitting thrust like that. Oh, there we go. Now you die. Oh cool, the uh, the animation did not finish and it did not erupt death into my face. That's nice. So now I know. Knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. Oh, look at them. They're still down there. They're so cute. Look at them. They're still down there. They're like, we can get them. We're going to get them. We're going to climb this mountain and get them. What do you have for me? Golf's great arrows. Very nice. Speaking of uh, Hawkeye Go, Golf. Go, Van Gogh, Vincent Van Gogh, yeah, yeah. Hawkeye Vincent Van Gogh, speaking of him, um, there is something I forgot to mention. I went back through An Orlando between videos, and I went and grabbed the Dragon Slayer Great Bow. Because I felt like having the Dragon Slayer Great Bow, along with the chest that was beside the giant, the, blacks the giant blacksmith, which contains the uh, hawk ring, I believe. It is called something like it, it, it's a name similar to that, something like that. Um, all oh right, there's no path upwards on, on this side. What am I doing? I'm just killing for the I'm just killing for the sake of sating my bloodlust. Okay, you there. You're not gonna snip me, Mr. Mr. Scissors, Edward Scissorhands. Did I just go in a circle for no reason whatsoever? Nah, I'm, I know exactly where I'm going. I know exactly what I'm doing. Look at me. See? Oh, crap. Oh, God. And you're dead. And you're dead, son. You're dead. You a nerd, and you're dead. What do we got here? Large soul of a proud knight. That's it? Oh, I thought you'd be something more useful. Something actually somewhat useful. But I was wronged. Let's take a nice look out here onto the Royal Woods. Yeah, good view. That's the direction we're going in in a moment. Uh, it looks nice out here. It's pretty nice. Uh, pretty nice little forest setup we got going here. It's not bad, except for these little pillars of dark, dark abyss goo. So, in Ulysseal, we see the effects of the Abyss kind of taking over, which appears to be, you know, Zerg creep spread from StarCraft, which is kind of uh, not what, you, what I would expect from, you know, the spread of just dark, I would say it is. Something like that. Uh, that was dumb. Now you die. Let's see, there's a second one coming, so... Oh, God. Please. Please, now. Okay, let's... Get to a point where we can actually see... There's a fr freaking tree got right in my way. Two of these great fireballs are going to uh, kill these guys. 
the initial hit does the same damage as a great chaos fireball with the uh, loss of the benefit of you know leaving lava on the ground behind it whoop going for a double we're getting ballsy here oh 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 whoop Okay, now you die. Bye. Remember the name. Good guy Thor. I'm not I guess I guess that's not really something a good guy would say unless he's like some sort of weird dirty hairy style cop. Yeah, we'll go with that. I'm a dirty hairy style cop. So now we can activate this lift, and it goes actually really fast. And this is back over here at a fog door, along with a, a couple other things. So that lift will be active from now on, and we can take that whenever we please. But let's go ahead over here and talk to the gentleman standing at the side. Hmm. Ah, let me guess. Snatched by a shadowy limb and dragged off to the past? Yep. Yes, of course. Exactly what happened to me. We are both strangers in this strange land. But at least now there are two of us. Did you happen across Knight Artorias? The legendary Abyss Walker from the old tales. Well, if you haven't, it's just as well. He's a colorless sort, if you ask me. <laughs> So, what did that giant mushroom make you do? Not that I care. It's none of my business. <laughs> hmm? I've little to talk about, really. Oh, you know me. What do I know? <laughs> Alright, so this is a, a, a fine little vendor gentleman, yes, who's obviously been come here the same exact way that we got here, snatched by a shadowy limb and pulled into the past. Um, and he seems to have been here uh, for a f decent amount longer than us, as he has met Knight Artorius. Mm. Now, as for uh, the items he sells, he sells some pretty useful items. Green Blossoms, uh, the Red and Purple Moss, Throwing Knives, Firebombs, Skulls, Lloyd's Talismans, Black Firebombs, a lot of stuff that's a... Uh, good for just consumables and he sells humanity you can actually buy humanity off this guy um i mean there's always an infinite supply of humanity you can always get humanity you can farm them off of certain enemies but uh being able to buy them off a merchant pretty decent as well they cost quite a lot though ten thousand a piece so you know um let's go ahead we'll buy something off of him just to get whatever the dialogue is for a successful purchase off him we'll buy a homeward bone so long. Very simple like that. Duck. Oh, still alive, are you? Think of anything that you might need? So long. Just so long, Adam. That's kind of a... Oh, think of... Anything else? Mm. Okay, yeah. I, I... <laughs> yeah, he's, he's done talking. So long. So long. Oh, yes, I'm done talking to you. I'm mysterious. And we'll go ahead and activate this lift now. And this is an even earlier lift. This is that one back here, which is now active. And we'll take us straight down to here. Actually, I should probably take that and go back, but I'm going to try and be a man. And by that, everyone should know what I mean that is the fight that's coming up should kick my ass being it only to ask this flask and me not being you know speed run tactics or anything like that oh, man certainly not that let's go ahead and uh, switch this out for let's put the ring of steel protection on why not oh actually oh no no, no. crits Crits won't matter against this boss. I'm not going to be able to create them anyway. Anyway, get ready, guys. Everyone knows what's coming, but for those of you who don't...
Yes. This is Artorius, the Abyss Walker, or at least what is left of him. So Artorius has been completely and utterly consumed by the Abyss, and he is no longer sentient of his actions. He has become just a walking mass of death. He used to have dialogue back in uh, an older version of the game before it was released. His moveset is very wild, very aggressive. Um, some moves similar to what Sif does, like that big swinging attack that he did. Oh, there's one. He's not going for the triple? Okay. Okay, that hit me. And as you can see, he has a ton of health. Which is why this is going to be a relatively difficult fight, although I think my regular Uchikatana would be doing better than my lightning one. Oh! Well, good follow through by him. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Anyway, we do have a very simple shortcut back. I'm going to switch my uh, weapon out as well from the lightning Uchikatana to the Uchikatana plus 12. I really wish I had more... Um, chunks to upgrade it past the plus 12 to at least plus 14. I don't believe I have any slabs on me right now. But uh, we're going to go in there with 5 Estus now and our great chaos fireballs and stuff. Although uh, pyromancy is not the most useful thing for fighting against Artorius because it's very slow. Artorius himself is rather fast. Even fast spells can... he can dodge those rel with relative ease, so a bit of a, a difficult thing to do to hit him with pyromancy and whatnot. And I, I just remembered I did not bring the lift back up before I left, so that's going to be... that's going to be a treat as I wait for it. You guys going to come in here and play Tiddlywinks with me? No? Oh, okay. Bye. Bye. Anyway, we're going to try and beat him with just five Estus. Um, if the attempts get too long, I will begin making cuts, and you will basically... Uh, it'll be like the Sif fight where I go, okay, okay, and then and then the cut comes back over to here. Only it's going to be more like, fuck, shit, fuck you, Artur, stuff like that, you know. So let's see how many tries it takes. Attempt number two! Alright. Great opener. Yeah, that's way more damage. So much more. Let's go, Arturius. Come on, buddy. Come on, guy. Yeah, dodge the overheads. Oh, dodge that as well. Because those go through your stamina very quickly. The overhead itself is probably going to hit through you, even if you have full stamina. Oh, that was a good one. Whoa, that's one. I thought he might have done three. One. Still just one. Come on, Arturius. You're better than this. One. Two. Oh, that one. He hit me with his hand, which is why it did, like, no damage. Come on, what are you going to do? Drink. I want to try and stay as full as possible. That was bad. Yeah, he's actually programmed really well to not give you a chance to drink. Oh, that was bad. I went backwards when I should have gone sideways. That's a big one. You cannot get hit by that one, but it has such a long startup, you never should, even if you have to drink like I did. That one... I don't know how that clipped me. I'm actually really confused by that. Alright, so that, so I'm taking this fight really slowly and really sloppily so far. I should have drank there. I'm giving you too much respect, Arturius. You're wrecked. 
I don't respect shit. Come on, bitch. Oh, when he does that, rush him and hit him. Beat his face in. Okay. That's fine. But now he is powered up for a little bit. After that third one, you've got a big chance to drink. Come on, bitch. Oh, come on. I'm not even near there. You would never hit me. He's gonna... Okay, just do that. I thought he was gonna pounce again. This is Arturius with one really broken-ass arm and no cognitive ability to fight. Imagine if this was Arturius in, like, full fighting form. That, this shit would be hard. Hey, this shit's easy. I'll go for a big attack because I'm a ballsy bitch. Oh, damn. I should not have been a ballsy bitch. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Uh, well. Well, no more Estus. Let's fight perfect. Can I get a great chaos fireball in? I wonder. Oh. Thank you for rolling. My controller's broken. I didn't roll. Fuck. The cuts begin. Fuck you, game. Why is it rolling back? I held sideways. God damn it. God damn it. Fuck. Right. And nice. Great. I timed it perfectly and it didn't fucking matter. Ah! Now, game, before I start this attempt, would you be so kind as to not hit me when he doesn't hit me and when I roll out of the way? I'd really like to not be one shot after rolling out of the way. Because that has ended at least four of my attempts. Like that. That hit me after I had rolled out of the way in the exact same fashion. In my last attempt. And it is really annoying to get hit by such a thing. That you know you dodged. Like, when you know you've dodged something and it still hits you, it's... Really sucky. I shouldn't have gone for that hit. Just not gonna go for it this time. One? Ah, uh, just one. Shoot. Come on. Come on. Give me an attack I can hit you on. That's not one of them. That's... That's one of them. Yeah, oh, don't do that. Gross. Come on. You gotta be a little bit more clear with what you're doing. Like that. See, there you go. I should not have been hit by that. I rolled. It didn't roll. So what I mean to say is I wanted to roll. And the game decided to not let me roll. That was close. Come on, Arturius. Uh, riveting commentary for this attempt. Fuck you. Fuck you, goo. Fuck the abyss. Fuck everything. Now, slowly get poked to death by me. One, two, three, please. Thank you. Oh, fuck. I got hit. I, I rolled late. That was my bad on that one. Please don't let me die to some bitch-ass move. Like that. Drink, please. Oh, fucking wonderful. Uh, 
There we go. Alright, we good. One. Two. What are you gonna do? That's a good one. Come on. Okay, he's gonna power up. Double roll away is a power up. We're almost done. Got ballsy. Didn't get punished for it, so it's fine. No! Fuck you, Arturus! Die! I'm sorry, you were a cool guy. Um, I mean, uh... I'm sorry that I had to murder you because you were fucked by the abyss. But god damn it, that took way longer than I should have. And here's the Zerg creep, spreading its disgusting goo out from the township of Ulysseal over there. And before we do anything, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, yeah. What? What, Arturius? I'm the freaking best. In the meantime, we're going to take a look at his soul, which is down here somewhere. Uh, right here. It is a black, dark soul. Soul of Night Arturius, victim of the Abyss, not the Abyss Walker. Soul of Lord Gwyn's Knight Artorius, who was consumed by the Abyss. The legend that Artorius repelled the Abyss was only, only told half of the story. It seems that he was defeated and his honor preserved by some unsung hero who is the true victor over the Abyss. A.K.A. It's you, the Chosen Undead. You're the cool guy. You're gonna be the cool guy that beats the Abyss, not Artorius. And uh, we'll see why Artorius actually lost to the Abyss later. That is a PvP area. See, Battle of Stoicism Gazebo, only available online. There are three types, one versus one, duel, two versus two, and deathmatch of four, where I'm not really going to go into that much at all. But over here we have the entrance to the Ulishil Township proper, and here we're going to light our bonfire. We're going to take our seat. Reset our thing, and we've got a bunch of souls to work with. We'll see if we do anything with that. In the meantime, I'd like to go ahead and thank everybody for watching, because that's going to be the end of this episode. In our next episode, we'll go ahead and take on the rest of Ulysseel, and we'll go kill Manus. But for now, I'm talking really fast, because Artur... I'm sorry, guys. Artorius took me too many tries. It took me more tries than Ornstein and Smo, and partially because I was getting clipped by hits that didn't hit me. There should be a montage of my anger in there, and you will all see it. I wish there was a, an animation for me to shake my fist. Oh my god, I can't believe I was so bad at that. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, um, oh, jeez. Um, I deeply apologize to you. I don't have enough emoticons to show everything that I want to. Shut up down there. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe and watch so that you never miss a video, and there will be more coming out very soon. So I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye bye